Hi. Located over my shoulder is the great Ravens Stadium. It's home of the most recent Super Bowl champions, the Baltimore Ravens. As you can see, I'm currently walking through the parking lot that's located in between the Ravens Stadium and the Orioles Stadium. My job has me work on numerous garages throughout Baltimore. Some of them do include service slots, just like this. Now, have you ever thought about what goes into pulling a ticket, how that ticket is kept track, and the whole process entirely? Probably not. I'm walking underneath an overpass and you can't really see me. Hi. So as I was saying, I never thought of the process either until I was lucky enough to get this job. My job has me work on all of the equipment that's involved with generating a ticket, tracking the ticket, and all the different ins and outs of the devices that I work with. Now, the, there are numerous devices and methods to pull a ticket, whether that ticket is a coin or an access card for monthly customers. It all just varies. As you can see, I'm wearing a heavy jacket and a beanie, which is not necessarily professional, but it is very warm. It's required when I'm working out in the elements in the cold for extended periods of time. That is my work vehicle. I have very many parts and things and tools that I need for my job in there. I won't bore you with that. Instead, I'll show you the actual process of the ticket pulling. And as I demonstrate this, I'll go as far to show you how that ticket is paid for and all the different options that's involved for this. Now, located right here is one of the entries and exits and a cashier station located just behind it. Now, as I said before, this stadium is for, this parking rather, is for the Ravens Stadium, but kind of both share the same parking as far as, oh, here we go, we're lucky enough to see the actual process itself. You see a customer drives up, and he pulls the ticket, gate arm opens, and it closes. That is the whole process, but I'll go a little farther to show you a demonstration. So, right here, I just have the front door of the, the gate and the dispenser itself. And if you look in here, you have tickets and you have what's pretty important right here is the loop detector. It's uh, lit up right now to signify that somebody has pulled up and they're ready to pull a ticket. So bear with me here. So there's the green button. This will actually generate the ticket that I need to enter this surface lot. Now the gate just opened. I'm gonna grab this. Again, this is not how it's normally done. The gate arm closed to signify that a car has come through. Now these loop detectors are nothing more than just a metal detector. It's embedded into the concrete and, oh, hold on, that's not very professional. It's embedded into the concrete and it responds to any level of metal. And these slip detectors can be adjusted and whatnot for different garages. There's really a whole world of electronics that I never knew existed until I began working here. This job has given me the know-how and all sorts of experience in wiring and installing uh, electronics, communication devices, everything from displays to you saw the loop detectors and right now I'm taking this ticket that I just pulled see Camden Yards that's where I'm at right now I'm going to go into this pay station now this pay station here is very simple it's just uh, a sensor you have right here it looks similar to the, the thing that spit out the ticket it will take my ticket that I just pulled and it has a timestamp on this barcode, and it will tell you how long you've stayed in the garage. 
or surface slot. And most places have a grace period. As you're about to find out when I put this ticket in, it's going to say no additional payment is possible because I just came in. It's nice. It's a way for them to say, we understand we don't have enough parking. Go ahead, turn around. You're okay to leave. Obviously, they don't have a grace period. As I said before, there are many different options and every different uh, garage is different, but as I put my ticket in, it said $5 pay now. Now, you see right there, there's a bill slot. Oh, I am obviously not very good at navigating. There's a bill slot to put in your, your cash to pay the $5 if you want. They even post their rates right there if that's what you want to do. They also have, in that same slot that I put the ticket, they also have a option to put in their credit card. Now, there are several different mechanisms and things that are in there that only people such as myself with the company Scheitenbach can know how to work with. They have cash dispensers and cash acceptors and the actual mechanism to spit this out. There's like four or five different parts that is involved in that. But as far as a ticket is concerned, it's pretty basic. You also have, uh, instead of pulling a ticket right there, there are some places that prefer chip coins. Chip coins are reusable. They don't have to keep paying for these tickets. But it's just a little, little piece of metal that's uh, encoded with a timestamp, kind of like this. And they just use it in the same way. You also have access cards. And I was hoping that someone would pull up to use their access card to demonstrate this, but I have one on my feet right here. A lot of apartment complexes and things like that use access cards and little HID, they call them, to allow entry into their facility. Now, these go a little deeper into uh, software. There's a lot of software involved that I had no idea. And you think just to park in a garage, you know, you pay somebody a couple of bucks and you stay for a few hours, but there's really, when you get closer to metropolis areas, there's really a lot of options that no one ever really thought to, to look at. but. You have uh, customer profiles and things of that nature set up to where you can pay online or pay, you know, auto billing to pay for these customer profiles for these access cards to park here. Essentially, it's a modernized ticket, so you don't have to worry about, you know, restocking your tickets and emptying the cash tills and this and that. But there are plenty of different headaches that come with. Uh, with the customer profiles as well. Just walking around to show you the background here, it's it's only sounds busy because I'm right next to the entry of the city. So I think I'm gonna take a break here and go somewhere a little quieter and I can possibly show you the customer profiles and the actual software involved in that.